Hi again, everybody. Frank Phillips here. And we're going to be looking at the media today, especially bias in the media, because everyone seems to want to find either news that supports their point of view, or they want to find news that is unbiased. Well, the former is probably very, very true. We can find plenty of media that supports a particular political point of view, but can news media truly be unbiased? That's what we want to look at today. There are many issues facing Americans today that divide us, more so than any time in the 50 years that I've been alive. There's the recent court decision about abortion. There is the January 6th commission investigating the uh, insurrection at the Capitol on January 6th. And uh, as I'm recording this, there was a, a tremendous uh, response to the uh, testimony of a White House insider about uh, former President Trump's involvement in that particular insurrection. Can we as humans be truly unbiased in our opinions? Can we truly trust any news source to give us an unbiased view of the news? I would say the answer to that is no, we really can't for the same reason that we as humans are all biased in what we think and in uh, our opinions. News Nation has promoted itself as an unbiased news network. But that's nothing new. Throughout the years, there have been newspapers and there have been television networks that uh, have promoted themselves as being unbiased sources of news that only present the facts. I remember growing up watching Walter Cronkite and Uncle Walter, as he came to be known, was uh, very much known for his reporting style. And uh, they called him Uncle Walter because he, that he could be trusted more so than uh, other commentators or news anchors, I should say. Very few times did Walter Cronkite do a commentary, but uh, when he reported the, the news, he always signed off by saying, that's the way it is. And uh, we took him at his word that that truly is the way it was. Newspapers have been established over the years as uh, favoring one party or another. There have been Democratic newspapers. There have been Republican newspapers. And especially in larger cities where multiple newspapers were the uh, rule rather than the exception. However, in those Republican papers and those Democrat papers, the owners did the best they could to keep bias off the news pages. They had editorial pages, they had opinion pages that favored uh, their particular political bent, but uh, they just simply did not want bias to appear in their news pages. I can remember uh, the old TV show, Lou Grant, which of course was fiction, but it illustrates this point so very vividly in my opinion. Uh, Lou Grant had assigned a reporter to cover a particular story that reporter came back and was just up in the air about it. And he said, you really have an opinion about this, don't you? And she said, yes, I do. And he said, write the story, but I don't want to see your opinion in the story. And that's the way newspapers have traditionally, at least in many years past, handled the news. When it came to news, they wanted the news and just the news and not political opinion. Those those political ideas uh, were reserved for the editorial pages. Today, it seems that television networks in particular, and I'm talking about the cable networks, go out of their way to appeal to a certain segment of their audience by presenting stories in such a way to uphold what biases their viewers have. And we can understand why that happens because they want to sell advertising. To sell advertising, they have to have a loyal uh, base of viewers. Now, some people say that CNN is guilty of being a liberal news network, 
And I would say that Fox News is guilty of being an extreme right-wing news network. Well, what about networks like News Nation that say they want to present the news without bias? The fact is, every person on the planet has their own bias about items in the news and about life in general. Our job as consumers, and this is what you and I can do about it, our job as consumers of news media is to find out what bias that particular reporter has, more importantly, what bias that particular news network has, and then form our own opinions after making allowances for that bias that we hear and that we see. It's a little scary to me when I go on social media and somebody promotes one particular news source over another. I can remember when uh, uh, President Trump was uh, being investigated before his first impeachment. And a friend of mine came to me one day and said, what do you think about that? You're in the news. And I said, well, I said, what do you have? You have one news network that is poo-pooing everything Trump did as being perfectly legal and moral and right. And I said, then you have all the other news sources that are reporting that what he did was not right and uh, was something that uh, he needed to be held accountable for. Now, my question is, if you have one network saying one thing and all the rest of them are saying something else, who are you going to believe? Good question, right? So we need to determine what the biases of any particular news organization are, and then we need to make allowances for that so that we can uh, draw our own conclusions and uh, make up our own minds about what's in the news.